What is it, W7? Did you intercept the research? No. The researcher is dead. But I've got the name of the buyer. Go on. Pomorov. Stefan Pomorov. I've got him. Russian businessman. Nothing flagged, no police record. No unusual connections. According to the immigration data, he's in Monaco, due to leave on a flight to Moscow tonight. I'm sending you his picture and file. Got it. Let's get in touch with our best contact in Monaco. I'm bringing up the list now. See if he can stall Pomerov from leaving and have him meet me at the airport. Of course. Good. I'll be on the next flight out. James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once. Something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. Well, it's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Shall we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. How do you know him? Sweetie. There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewellery. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's where he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well... There was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. So that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6? Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. Welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Industry Trainer One, continuing on with our 007 Bloodstone walkthrough on agent difficulty with all intel. Don't forget, Really helps the channel out if you leave a like right away. Just do it right now. Helps the channel. And also leave a comment below to show your support. These videos are getting demonetized, of course, because it's copyrighted content. So if you want to help the channel become a member, patron, uh, donation, all those are in the description. So check out those links. Let's begin. We're going to be doing a lot of stealth in this game, in this mission. Every section that we can. Which the first half of the mission is complete stealth. First collectible is right here, or first intel. So the brass nude statue. And there's a total of five intel in this mission. All right, James, I'm in. Pomrov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the gardens now. Turn on your tracker. I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomerov busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomerov. Hello? 
Bravo team, what's your 20? He's indisposed at the moment. Alpha teams are ready to start watch. 10-4, Charlie team standing down. Eyes open tonight. We patrol the garden. Understood. Squad commanders ensure your teams are in position. Make sure you watch over this area. You know what National Day is like. There's always some drunk tourist who tries to sneak in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's move it. Finish your cigarette and start your patrols. Sir. Give him a little bit of space. Anything to report? Nothing, sir. But I'm surprised Pomerov asked for all these patrols. It's dead tonight. Pomerov didn't get to be Pomerov by taking chances. Do you think it has something to do with that Chinese guy he met with? I heard it didn't go well. That's not your problem. Your job is to keep your eye on the gardens. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. No re real reason to explain it to you there. No reason to take out those if you don't need to. James. James. Pomerov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. You may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. Come in, Bravo. Request an update. Bravo, team. Just finished sweep of Area 12. Nothing to report. Turn 4. Turn 4, Bravo. Move to Sector 3F. <laughs> Bravo is moving to 3F. It can be a little tricky to get their timings down right, but once you do, you should be fine. Like a glove. Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Right, I'm gonna finish my smoke, then I'm on a break. Don't work too hard. You wanna wait here because this you guy is gonna come this way? He'll give you the best opportunity to take him out stealthily. Yeah, guess being a Russian billionaire has its upside. Like I said, the first half of this mission at least can be done completely stealthy. Don't forget to come back here and we're going to grab another collectible. And that is the third one. Still getting used to playing this with uh, mouse and keyboard, of course. So hopefully it's not too... Charlie is on route to 5S now. Patrolling the perimeter, nothing to report. Distracted for all of you. Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Come in Bravo, request update. Bravo is stationed at 12F, all quiet. <laughs> Delta squad, what's your current? Delta team here, manning post at sector 2.
Rutis. What's your 20? This is Bravo. Position at Sector 14B. Come in, Bravo. Request update. Bravo is stationed in 12F. All quiet. Delta Squad, what's your current? Delta Team here, planning to of Sector 2. Like a glove. Nice. Bravo. Request update. Bravo team. Just finished sweep of area 12. Nothing to report. Turn for Bravo. Move to sector 3F and initiate patrol. Understood. Be patient. Going too fast can cause you to screw up. There's still three more guys in this area, so the route that I'm taking is essentially the best route for you to take because there's a guy looking, should I say, the second guy on the left there is looking at that guy, so therefore you can't take him out too quickly. And just to make sure that we don't get seen, let's go at it from this angle over here. And there you go. All right, Nicole, I'm in the casino. Keep Palmer off distracted while I find you. Okay, James, but wait, he's coming. I just don't remember if there's anything over here or not, which I don't think there is. So we're good. All right. You're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the lift. One down, 007. You need three of these. The first two are pretty easy to get. The last one can be a little bit more challenging. That's another one, Bond. Anyone know when the players arrive? No idea. They just have to watch the room. You know, it must be some big name if they want us to stand guard like this. I heard Pomerov himself is playing. And you know what he's like about his privacy. Ah, that will be it. Down. 
That was the last one was a little bit tricky. But you just can see that as long as you take him down, you're still good to go. Probably better to get him first. It's just, it can be a little tricky when running up on them. And there you go. That's it, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. Nice little slow action moment there. As you can see, we only have one left, and it's going to be at the very last section of the level. The action parts are going to start up here real quick. What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No. No? So why are these documents in code? I told you. I was working at home. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. <coughs> Thank you. Get them out of here! But it's secure. Take the open.
All right, the rest is pretty simple. Where are you? Just. I'm outside. What happened? They've closed the casino. Get to the car. Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? Let's see if I can tip the odds in our favor. It's just really a funnel through all of the enemies. James, I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move. All right, I think that's it. Last collectible. And there we go, ladies and gents. All collectibles, all intel, complete for the second mission in Monaco. There's also another mission in Monaco, so this is Monaco Part 1. Um, again, the first part, you can stealth almost everything, as you saw, and then after that, it's just balls to the wall. Action, no more stealth, but you got to be careful because it's easy to die. Just one or two hits and you're done, so you got to use cover on this difficulty. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Looks like there still is another one left. Would be sucky to die now. But we made it through. Uh, 
Oh, you're getting behind cover. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next part. Don't forget to leave a like, show your support, help the channel out. These are demonetized, so help us out. Keep the channel alive by donating and by becoming a member or patron. See if this is dry enough for you. What are you drinking? Same thing. Straight. I was never one for girly drinks. Bond, are you there? Yes, Em. Right here. Nicole, do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomarov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct chemical refinery he's recently brought back online in Siberia. Makes perfect sense. They tortured Tedworth, the researcher, for the code to his bio-research formulas. He was working on anthrax and smallpox antidotes for troops in the field, but they could just as easily be weaponized. That's what we're afraid of. No, that's what the whole world is afraid of. You've got to get there. Confirm what we think he's up to and stop him. Perhaps Miss Hunter can help you facilitate this. Yes, I'll talk to her. Good. Good luck, 007. You finished? I have to take a look at Pomerov's refinery in Siberia. Em thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm gonna need a flight Ground transportation, a local contact. Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomerov I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? M said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolph, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane. <laughs>